Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. Thanks for joining me on my Facebook Live where we're crafting till the cows come home. I have jumped on a few minutes early because we know there are always Facebook issues. So I want to see if I can get logged on to see the messages tonight. That would be a wonderful thing. So far, so good. We will see. I don't want to get overly anxious because it will freeze and that would be bad. <laughs> oh, and it's, it looks frozen. It sure does. Wow. I don't even know what to say about Facebook anymore. Let's see what happens here. Hi, people that are jumping on. Well, we're going to just see how it goes. I've got it up. I'm not moving. Maybe I'll see the comments. So we're going to go with it. If you are watching me and you see the red box in the left-hand corner of your screen, that means you are watching me live. Please make sure and leave a comment and say hello. Let me know you're out there. Hi, everybody. Um, tonight, we're going to be playing with some Gable boxes. It's going to be really fun. Hi, oh. That would be a wonderful thing. So I guess it finally caught up. Who knows? Who knows? So. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, we're going to be making some gable boxes. Going to have a lot of fun with that. And uh, I'm going to call this the night of adhesives because we're going to be using a whole lot of different adhesives. I could try to get everything good and focus. So I hope that you guys are going to be able to see well. Thank you, everyone who's already sharing. I so appreciate that. Ooh, if you only knew I'm working so hard on a goal. And um, Everybody that you share to, hopefully they'll share, and that just sends new people my way. All right. So, uh, hopefully today you saw that I put that there is, they've updated the clearance rack, and there's some screaming deals on there. And if you have not purchased from me within the last six, six months, uh, the clearance rack is a great way to get quite a few items. All you need to do is place an order of any size to uh, receive a complimentary catalog from me. I will be putting my uh, list in to Stampin' Up! on Monday, and then they will ship probably middle of May to you, okay? But to receive a complimentary catalog with the new 2019-20 annual catalog, you have to have purchased from me through my online store in the last six months. So uh, take advantage of that clearance rack, by the way, anyway. And lots of things are retiring, and we're going to be playing with some of those things tonight. So let's see. I think that's all I've got. Um, I did notice after I got off last week that uh, Savannah forgot to come home. She's had a rough week out there. She's coming home tonight. Don't let me forget that she's coming home tonight. So uh, let's see. It's 7 o'clock. I'm going to flip you down. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, everybody that's jumping on. Do I look pretty clear on your end? I look pretty clear over here. And I'm going to flip you down. And I want you to tell me if I look clear. So hold on. Let me get you down just a little bit more. And then I'm going to adjust this. Let me adjust the lighting. Because that looks pretty bright to me. That looks pretty good. Now you see why I jumped on just a few minutes early. I want you to be able to see what we're doing, and I would like the colors to be as true to color as they can. So, I think we'll go with that. That looks pretty clear to me. Yeah, she was having too much fun. You've got that right. Clear via the phone. All right. Okay. This is one of the silver gable boxes. They come in both the silver and the lustrous white. And they are both retiring. And I want you guys to see how adorable these are. Now, I just took some of our designer series paper 
this is one for Father's Day. So I didn't want to frill it up. I didn't want to gussy it up. I wanted it to look like it would be something a man would receive. So it's the Silver Gable Box. And then, why can I not think of the name of this designer series paper? Hang on a second. Flew right out of my brain. That is the Tranquil Textures. Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper, which you guys know, the, the, my tongue got a little tied. And this is the back side of it here. The Designer Series papers are all retiring. So, and my very favorite, which is the Wood Textures, is also retiring. If you haven't grabbed a pack of that, you're going to want to do that. It is awesome. So this is the Blue Baker's Twine. And then I use the... Uh, Taylor Tag Punch, okay? Taylor Tag Punch for the back side of a piece of this designer series paper, and then I cut it in half, and that Happy Father's Day, I, that's from the Well Said bundle, okay? The Well Said stamp set, that's the one I told you guys, there's 50 something stamps in it. I mean, every kind of opportunity you can imagine, okay? So I wanted to tell you how I made this one first. Hi, everybody that's jumping on, get ready to wet your pants. That's all I can say. Just get ready to wet your pants. I am not responsible for the chairs that you were sitting in. Look at this little beauty. Let me get it up here where the glare isn't atrocious. Let me twist this off for just a second. And twist this off for just a second. Oh, my goodness. You have that set. Oh, I love it. Yep. Look at that. Are you squealing? There better be some squealing going on. I want to see some hearts fly. Oh, yeah, there's a heart. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And this stamp tonight, I want you guys. I know. Oh, my goodness. I love cute, okay? Oh, there's all kinds of hearts going on out there. I love it. And I love the postcard pals. They're retiring. They are so stinking cute. Don't forget about the sayings, the sentiments that are in some of these stamp sets too. It's not just how adorable the stamps are. I love the hearts. You're totally awesome in every way because I love every wonderful thing about you. And that's what we're using tonight. Hope your day is filled with fun and lots of happy surprises. Just a little note to say, be your wonderful self and sending birthday wishes. This stamp set has awesome, awesome sentiments in it. Plus, they are cuter than all get out. Now, as always, I've got all the hot links in the top in the description, okay? So you can click right on it. They're already up there. Now, let's go back to this. I used the country floral embossing folder on this. Now, this was an item that was available during celebration, and I know many, many, many of you got this, okay? I wanted to show it to you tonight because it is going to be in the new catalog. So if you do not have it, put it on your list, the Country Florals Dynamics Embossing Folder. And that is what I embossed this silver gable box with, okay? I know it's stinking adorable. So I wanted, to, I wanted you to see that. Tonight, we're going to use the Tentile Dynamics embossing folder, and I'm going to show you how I embossed this box, because these are dynamic folders, so they're thick, all right? And last but not least, we're going to be using, we're going to be using Berry Burst tonight, and I'm using the ribbon that's trimmed in the silver. Mm, it's going away, so I'm using that. That's the Berry Burst. And I'm using, I know, that embossing folder is the bomb, Barbara. I'm using the stitched labeled framelits. You guys, if you don't have this set of framelits, it, it's got beautiful stitched elements in it. And we're going to be using this circle tonight, okay? So, that's also listed in the top. So, let's go ahead and get started. Are y'all ready? Now, I'm not worried about the bottom of my box. This is the way the boxes come, by the way. Okay. 
what I'm worried about is I want the handles embossed too. And I'm very aware that one side of the box is going to be embossed and the other side is going to be debossed. And believe me, they are both equally gorgeous and I'm perfectly fine with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my box. Now, I'm going to tell you, listen closely. I take no responsibility for your die cutting machine when you run this through. It is going to be tight, okay? But mine went through just fine. Everybody's in, uh, die cutting machines are different, but I will tell you it went through mine. It was snug, but it went through. I use my magnetic platform. You always only use one plate with the dynamic folders. So that's what I did. So it's basically the folder with the box inside of it and one plate. So let me run that through. We're going to see how this one comes out together. Let's see what we get. I heard that pop. I told you it's tight. So that's at your own risk. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now, let me tell you, if you make this one, the reason, because this folder is narrower, so when I put it in, I had the very bottom part of this hanging out. That's why I put the ribbon around the base on this one, okay? That's why. There was a method to my madness. But this one, it was a bigger folder, so that's not an issue. So let's pop out our little edges. Hi, everybody that's jumping on. How's it looking? Is it looking pretty good tonight? On my computer, it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and open it up. And let's go ahead and get bend our edges all the way around. You want to talk about a big wow factor. Mother's Day, something to give to your daughter, kids' teachers, granddaughters, any of the above, all right? Now, here's the way I handled this. Because I went around the bottom of that one. And to me, it was just easier to go ahead and put your box together. All right. Got to be smarter than the box. Big flap, little flaps. And then the lip flap, okay? With me so far? So we need to decide. Embossed, debossed. Mm. I'm going to go with this side. I'm going with that side. Enter our tapes. Looks good here. Looks good here. All right. I'm bringing in my tear and tape. And I'm going to put this ribbon across the middle. And I'm going to start back here, and I'm just using my tear and tape, all right? So I'm just going to start at about what looks like the center to me. I'm just eyeballing it. You know me, I'm an eyeballing girl. And I'm sure that that um, silver's got a little glare on it. So let's snip that off. That was my tear and tape, okay? Now I wanna put my hand on the inside and rub that down really well. Okay, let me grab my tweezers and let's pull off. Once you get it started, you're all right, okay? Pull that off all the way around. Now, you want your silicone mat. Okay. I'm going to go with this size, my front. 
and I left this on my spool. Hi, everybody that's jumping on. So let me go ahead and start off with a nice straight edge. Of ribbon come here you little devil you all right and I wanted to start on the edge at the back what I'm and this is why you want that silicone because remember that adhesive is exposed all the way around and then just follow your tear and tape all the way around Till it matches and then we're just going to snip it like that see what I mean about how you could you want to whip something up whip something up for your church ladies anybody how fast was that all right now we're going to need a little bow here in a minute so let's go ahead and just tie that got my ribbon on my spool I just pinch it on the left, come around. That's the beautiful thing about this ribbon also is that either side is perfect on it. You know, some ribbons are really one-sided. So just get it out there, pull it the way you want. If you need to use a bow jig, hey, no judging here. Hi, everybody. Um, I did do my paper pumpkin reveal on YouTube and had the same problems with the video. So uh, I've got some been doing some brainstorming and may have a solution for that in the future. But for tonight, so far, this looks like this is going pretty good. Is it plenty bright enough? Can you guys see? Oh, I turned my lights away. There, good gracious. Um, he's had a really, really rough time this time. He's in there laying on the couch because I have every single thing in the house turned off right now. So I'm hoping just the days he was unhooked Friday and he's got one more and then he's going to get a break for a while. So, yeah, that'll be good. Thank you for asking. Thanks for sharing, everyone. All right. Now, I need to grab a piece of Whisper White. And my berry burst, and I hope you guys have gotten the end colors refills in your card stock because you know berry burst is an end color. And I'm gonna go ahead I don't like it. I got too heavy-handed. There we go. Because I love every wonderful thing about you. See, that's perfect for anybody. That's perfect for anyone. Perfect for a mother, perfect for a daughter, perfect for daughter-in-laws. Oh, thank you guys so much for the prayers. They are so appreciated. Okay, now we're going to bring in, like I said, this large stitch circle. And I'm going to cut that out. So let me run that through my big shot real quick. You guys have any questions for me while I'm working over here? I will tell you that in case you missed it on the list, because I know it was overwhelming, that the dye brush is retiring. They've got a new head that'll go on the take your pick tool, but I love my dye brush. Okay, I don't have the other one yet. I can't say whether it's going to be wonderful or not wonderful, but I can say this is wonderful and I love it. So, looky there, I cut the wrong one out. Who did that? You guys are looking at that going, wait, that's not the right one. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's the yucky one. Everyone needs to calm down. Everyone needs to calm down. Okay. Piece of berry burst. Thank you guys for the prayers. Can't use the word or you can't use the word share. Is that true? Okay. Let, hang on a second. I, 
I was aware of the other day that we can't use the word or can't use the word share. Is that true? Okay, I don't understand the question. It's probably just me, but I don't. Can you elaborate just a little bit more? Okay, now let, while she's doing that, let me scroll back up. Hi, everybody. Now we're going to just take some fast views, and I'm just going to put this right on top. Oh, I had not heard that. I had not heard that. I have not heard that. No, I have not. Sheila, they have not, they're working on some kind of trimmer, but we know nothing about it. We know that whatever they're working on, they still had some things they wanted to do to it. So that's why it didn't make it into the annual catalog yet. As soon as I know more, I will let you know. Some other Facebook, I've said that Facebook has banned them from saying share. Didn't say the same thing about saying share. Huh. I hadn't heard that. It's news to me. What do we want to say? Pass the word. Tell your friends. <laughs> we, we'll come up with code. You guys come up with some kind of a code. Did you see how I just used a mini glue dot and stuck my little bow right at the top? Now we're going to bring in our dimensionals. Because they don't want... Yeah, that would make me a, I would be a madder than a wet hen, okay? That's, that's how mad I would be, madder than a wet hen. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. No, we don't. Let's come up with something. You guys come up with, uh, we, there's a workaround. Spread the word. Yeah, it'll it'll all mean that. We'll just have to come up with some work around. And then I wanted I canted this just a little bit because you guys know I like to cant things, but make sure that the bottom doesn't go below here. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to agree with you, Nyoka. Yeah, you'd think that they would want as many people on there as possible. Now, they I know that they did that back in the day when people were selling things and they couldn't say sold, so people came up with other things. So, but yeah, who knows? It'll make your brain explode. I'll tell you that. Looky, looky, looky. What do y'all think? Huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you love it? Tell your friends. I like it. Spread the word. we got to come up with some kind of farm saying. Y'all think on that. I know. They have a share button. You're right. It's crazy. It's crazy. Spread the word. What do y'all think? What? Yeah, because they have the meat. Getting too big for your britches. Do you guys like? I love the hearts. Grab these. They're going to be gone. Yes, they're going to be gone. And you want them. So stinking cute. Somebody's going to win. I'm going to give them both away. So I'll pick two winners on Friday. Now, heads up. Heads up, everybody. Not everyone who's been winning has contacted me. So I'm going to set a deadline now. You need to check the page on Friday. I always post the winners Friday evenings, usually around 5 o'clock. So I'm going to give you through Sunday. You know, I don't expect everybody to be on Facebook every minute. But if you're a winner, you need to get back with me no later than Sunday evening because I like to get everything in the mail on Monday. Okay, look at all those hearts. Love it. You like the ribbon in the middle? The ribbon is in the middle because on this one, let me grab another one. Let me show you because you guys are going to want to make these yourself. And when you order them, you get a pack of 12, okay? 12. 
That's the way they come. So, you see how on this, see the difference in the sizes? So this one, obviously, I put in just like that. I was not able to do that on this one. So what I had to do was, and I know all you're going to want to make this because the floral, they're both gorgeous. That floral is slap your mama pretty. Okay, don't go slapping your mama. You'll be in trouble. So here's the line here at the bottom. Okay, so that's why it pushed this top out just a smidge. And, I, and this doesn't go all the way to the edge. So I wanted to make sure it was covered. So what happened is when I made sure that was covered and I squeezed this down, do you see between the line and the folder, that little tiny strip? It would have been okay. Nobody else would have noticed it. But my OCD, I thought, okay, let's put that pretty ribbon around there. So that is why, okay? Fertilize the fields. <laughs> oh, yeah. Squeal about it to everyone. Squeal to your neighbor. How about that? Squeal to your neighbor. It's time to squeal to your neighbor. That'll be our co. I love that. Squeal to your neighbor. All right. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm going to flip you up and around. I love that. Squeal to your neighbor. I think that's kind of cool. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for chatting with me tonight. I hope that the video looked pretty clear, as good as can be expected. Um, thank you, everyone, for sharing for uh, squealing to your neighbors. I'll hug your neck from Oklahoma here at the Scott Farm for that. Uh, look who came home. This is what she said. Mama, what happened? And you know what I told her? Mama is a brain fried chihuahua and mama cannot be responsible for remembering everything. That's what I told her. <laughs> I'm crazy. You guys know I'm crazy. Okay. Grab those clearance items while you can. If you want a catalog and you haven't purchased in the last six months, please go and make a small order. Any size order will get you on my list. I will see. Would this work with the pizza boxes as well? Would would this work with the pizza? Uh, feeding it through. Hang on. Uh, let's see. I've got the pizza boxes right here. So let's just check it out real quick. We're going to be playing with the pizza boxes here in the future, too. Let me grab one. Grab it out. You know, it's got more of that cardboard feel to it. You know, it's got that uh, sheen on the one side because that's your food grade side. So, will it fit in here? It absolutely will fit in there. You'd have to do the lid and then the bottom. But, yes, it will fit in there. Okay? So, what might be pretty to do with that is run it through there and then take a sponge and sponge some colors on it. That would be cool. Spread the moves. <gasps> Spread the moves. Oh, my gosh. Sheila? You're killing me. What do you guys think? Spread the moves. That's it. I'm not going to remember it. You're going to have to help me remember it. Spread the moves. Okay. That's it. Spread the moves. All right, you guys. I'm sending you hugs and kisses from the Scott Farm in Oklahoma. I will see you next Tuesday night when we're crafting until the cows come home. Oh, by the way, keep an eye out for, because, uh, you know, the first is right around the corner, because uh, I'm the designer of this upcoming. Uh, customer appreciation PDF, and it's all about Father's Day, and I know some of you have been asking about Father's Day items. Mm, can you say squeal? Because I think you're gonna. Bye, guys. Have a good evening.